So hi there, Richter, and thank you for your uh, rec take. Uh, so I uh, already recorded a video for you with some uh, general pointers with uh, regarding uh, building speed. So this time around, I want to address some of the um, issues I saw in your rec video. And the original lesson is Hand Sync by Ben Higgins. Uh, so I think the main thing, and that's something Monica touched upon when um, she answered your other topic there, uh, is about your picking direction. Uh, so it seems that you're playing economy picking for most part, uh, whereas Ben is using traditional alternate picking. Uh, now there are, you can find good reasons to use both of these methods. However, uh, it is a pretty well known fact that with alternate, alternate picking, where you constantly use up and down picking, regardless of whatever string crossing motion you're doing, uh, or whatever, whatever string crossing direction, uh, it is a known fact that you uh, have a sort of built-in pulse. You can rely on the pulse and the beat coming consistently on uh, whichever you know stro uh, pick strike you start on. So if you start on a downstroke uh, and you play uh, like 16th notes or 8th notes, whatever, then you know that you're going to have a down beat on the downstroke. And this... Uh, might not seem as important, but you're going to find it's crucial to uh, uh, help you keep your timing. And especially, this is, this is one of the biggest problems in your take, that you're not really playing on time. So I would say uh, you shouldn't consider considered your time wasted uh, that you spent on uh, economy picking. Not at all. Uh, you know, I also started off with economy picking because that was my sort of uh, Einstein strategy to build speed faster than everyone else and it's, it's not wrong as a theory however um, I think it might not be that useful when you're starting out and you really what you need is to build a solid uh, like foundation and you need to be able to keep playing in time that's much more important because uh, you can play really fast but if you're not playing in time it's not going to sound good anyway uh, so that's why I uh, always recommend that uh, when you're starting out practicing picking, you should rely on alternate picking. You can always try practicing economy picking as well, and you can mix them later on. It's going to be really cool. Uh, but for this purpose, uh, I would really recommend you look into alternate picking. Um, and it's going to require a little bit of a different hand movement, but uh, Ben, among many others here, have some great lessons on how you can practice that. Uh, so that's sort of my main thing. And, you know, I can just dive into it a little bit so you can see the, um, the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, because um, if you play three notes per string, one, two, three, like that, it's all uh, fine and easy when you're on one string. But as soon as you cross to the next string, that's when problems start to arise. Uh, and the reason this is so problematic is because we usually start on a downstroke. So we get down, up, down. Now, this means that the next note, if we stick to strict alternate picking, should be an upstroke. However, we're also moving from the A string to the D string, and that is a downward movement. So, while we're moving downward with the whole hand, we're trying to play an upstroke. And this is uh, the root of the problem why uh, three, note per streaking, uh, three note per string picking is considered so hard. Uh, because you have to do that when you cross a string. So one more time. Down, up, down. And then I move to the D string and up. So the way you solve this is to ignore uh, the strict alternate picking um, down, up, down, up pattern. And instead you do down, up, down, down. And this is indeed very convenient in terms of uh, economizing your motions. Uh, so I can definitely understand why you would be tempted to do it this way. Uh, however, I would re still recommend uh, for a steady pulse that you do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's much easier than doing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Although both can certainly be practiced, I don't think uh, you're doing yourself a favor by pushing the, the economy picking thing at this stage. Another thing, uh, uh, or that is actually my main argument against economy picking, and it was back in the days when I decided to stop pra practicing economy picking. So my main argument back then was the sound. I didn't like the sound. It sounded like there was a constant interruption 
And I still think that uh, that doesn't mean you can't uh, you know, find cool runs that are with economy picking, uh, but those super rhythmical speed picking runs, for example, you're going to hear them by guys like Paul Gilbert, uh, they are almost exclusively based on alternate picking. So, uh, yeah, I prefer the tone of alternate picking as well. There are not only rhythmical advantages with it, there's also tonal advantages, in my opinion. So I just thought I'd give you a little deep dive into this topic in case you're wondering what to make of the advice you've got regarding economy picking versus alternate picking. Other than that, you've already got some good pointers by Gabriel on, on your... Um, on your recent take. I agree that the tone is something you should work on as well. It's very distorted. And uh, you could also consider, if you're, if you're ready to get even more advice, uh, opening a new thread where you ask people about recording advice and basically where you tell us the exact equipment you got and the exact uh, recording chain. Uh, there's also a slight possibility that if you're using some, I don't know, some strange interface, that you're getting a bit of recording delay, and that could be a reason why your timing sounds very off, uh, because it's consistently off. So it might be also that it could be uh, some something related to the actual recording. Uh, and if so, that's just a technical issue you would solve and then get rid of the problem. Uh, but you know, you do it in whichever order you want. Uh, these are just some uh, tips. Other than that, I just think you should keep up the hard work and I'm looking forward to following your progress. Cheers, man. Have a good one. There's my thumb. There it is. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. Cheers. <laughs>